Hi, I'm Donna Joya Asher, the author of Seven Steps to Closure, the Chanel series, the Fairyborn trilogy, the Alien Private Eye series, and the soon to be Demon Bounty Hunter series. And today I want to read for you from one of my books, so Coco and Chanel, which is book one in the Chanel series. Where on earth do we keep all this stuff? I said. Here. Bob handed me a belt and then looked me up and down. On second thoughts, he said, taking the belt back. He returned a few minutes later with a vest. The circumference of your waist is too small to house everything. He pointed at his own expansive girth, where his belt easily held all of the required items. This will work better for you and you'll be more comfortable. Thanks. I spent the next hour back at the station arranging my vest, working out the best way to house the assortment of goodies I'd received in its pockets. Unfortunately, after that, it was back to the drudgery of reading the manual. I amused myself by playing with my expandable baton in an attempt to stay awake. I like a girl who knows how to handle a baton. I looked up from my manual, unsuccessfully trying to close my mouth while I gawked at the speaker. His face was a heavenly mixture of cheekbones, eyelashes and kissable lips. His nose had been broken in the past, but the asymmetry managed to add to his looks by injecting a dash of bad boy to his blonde-haired, angelic profile. Add to all this a body that, even through the confines of his suit, you could tell spent hours in the gym and an English accent, and I had to grip the edge of the table to stop myself jumping it to dry hump his leg. I wanted to say something witty in reply, but I'd been staring at him with my mouth hanging open, and if I didn't say something soon, he was going to think I was simple. Hello? I said. Great. Now he was definitely going to think I was simple. He came over to perch on the corner of my desk, so close I could smell his aftershave. Good God, was it possible that he could be even more handsome close up? I also like a good bun, he said, peering down at my hair. His eyes were a startling shade of blue. I found myself staring into them, holding my breath. Detective Senior Sergeant Roger Richardson at your service he said, holding out his hand. His accent was totally dreamy. I took it in mine and still gazing into the eyes said, probationary constable Chanel Bunn. Oh, oh, I mean Smith. Christ, did I really just say that? Constable Bunn, he said, smiling. It's a pleasure to meet you. I gave him my cutest smile, hoping I didn't have any donuts stuck in my front teeth and wishing I could think of something intelligent to say. What do you say to coming for a ride with me? I desperately wanted to go, but I didn't want to get into trouble on my first day. I'm meant to be reading the manual, I said, hoping that didn't make me sound like a loser. Let me have a word with Rami, he said, gliding off my desk. I watched him walk across the room towards the hall, trying to think what his walk reminded me of. It wasn't until he was on his way back a few minutes later that I got it. He moved like a lion or a tiger, like a predator. Come on, Constable Bun, he said. We're out of here. So I hope you liked that. That's my book, Coco and Chanel. And you can find that on Amazon if you'd like to read more of it. Just follow the link with this video and go get to Amazon and check it out.